what is up you guys I'm back with another look I'm gonna be showing you guys how I do this simple everyday makeup <laughs> just kidding um, yeah if you want to see how I got this look just keep on watching so I already have my eyebrows done I will post the details in the description box for you guys First thing is first, we're going to prime our skin. I'm going to go in with the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base and the CoverGirl Pore Minimizing Primers. I'm going to apply the CoverGirl Primer first anywhere where I have those disgusting pores to try and hide them. And then I'm going to apply the skin base all around the rest of my face. Before applying my foundation, I'm just going to quickly spray MAC Fix Plus all over my face. Now I'm going to go in with the new CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation in shades T30 and T60. And I'm going to blend that out using my e.l.f. Beauty Sponge. I've really been liking this foundation lately, mainly for how lightweight it feels. For concealer, we're going to be using the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Concealer. I don't know what shade this is, but I'm pretty sure it must be like a medium or so. Maybe medium light. I couldn't find a shade on the tube, but yeah. <laughs> and I'm just going to blend this concealer out using my e.l.f. Beauty Sponge. To set my concealer, I'm going to go in with the MAC Patrick Stars Setting Powder and I'm going to set my under eye as well as the rest of my face very lightly using my same e.l.f. beauty sponge. Now taking MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC42 to go over my face using my Morphe E20 brush I believe it is. And I just basically dab this powder all over the face. Now I'm not a fan of baking, but I do like to go in with the RCMA translucent powder. And I guess you can say bake around my nose area just because I get very oily around there. And this also helps to contour my nose and use the powder to prevent my makeup getting ruined with eyeshadow fallout. To contour, I'm going to use the BH Cosmetics Powder Contour Palette using my MAC, I don't know what number brush, <laughs> I'll put it in the description box. I'm going to take those two shades and start contouring my face. These are very pigmented, so I go in little by little. I do have not natural hollows already on my cheeks, so I kind of know where my contour goes. But I am very light handed with this powder because again it is very pigmented and a little bit goes a long way so you definitely want to build up little by little. Don't forget about that double chin girl. Blend, blend, blend. Make that shit disappear. Now just to deepen up my contour, I like taking my NARS Eda brush and the darkest shade of the BH palette to do this. And I also like using this brush to contour my nose. I am not an expert at all on how to contour noses. I don't even know if I'm doing mine right, but this is the only brush that according to me, it works. And it snatches my big ass nose, so that's what I use. <laughs> I always like going in with a dual fiber brush and just blending all of these powders together for a more flawless finish. <laughs> Again, I don't like to bake, but I do like to clean up my contour with the RCMA translucent powder just for a more clean and crisp look. But I don't let it sit there. I wipe it off right away with my dual fiber brush. For blush, I'm going to be using these two shades from the Juvia's Place blush palette using my Morphe E4 brush. This is my favorite blush brush and I'm just going to build the color to my liking and just slightly um, blend everything together one more time with my dual fiber brush. On to the eyeshadow part, I'm going to be taking Sugar Pills Butter Cupcake Eyeshadow and placing this 
basically all over the eye it was only supposed to be used as my transition color but I end up putting it all over the eye and I'm using this blending brush from the pretty bar I don't know if it has a specific name but it's part of their eye set now I'm gonna be taking sugar pills flame point and putting this on my crease I took a while doing my eyeshadow but then in the end I realized I shouldn't have because the colors that we're gonna go in with later cover it up anyways but yeah <laughs> now taking this glide on pencil in LSD from Urban Decay I'm going to put this in my waterline and bring it down a little bit into my lower lash line and then I'm gonna take this Cosette eyeshadow with another brush from the Pretty Bars eye set and I'm gonna smudge that color and blend out my lower lash line and smoke it out until I get it to how I like it. <laughs> Taking another shadow from Cosette, I'm gonna use this color to further smoke out my lower lash line and I'm using a brush from the Lisa Frank and Glamour Dolls collection. I love these brushes. Now for the fun part, I'm gonna go in with Super Beauty Hydra Liners. These are water activated and they glow under UV light, as you can see. And I'm gonna quickly activate them using a little bit of Fix Plus. And I'm gonna take my blending brush and just start placing these all over my face. I don't even know, never know what I'm doing, but I was just planning on doing like an S type of swirl on my face with these, but it ended up going everywhere I'm gonna be using different brushes for each color um, I just wanted different textures for each color just so that I don't have the same like you know dots or smudges on top of each other I wanted them to look a little bit different um, and I just keep layering each color on top of each other over and over until I get it to where I liked it again it was only supposed to be like this little two swirls in the middle of my eyes and then it just ended up going everywhere <laughs> So to achieve again yet different texture, I took this spoolie and I just bent it so that it can fit in the little jar of the Hydra liners and again just went to town with the little spoolie. I'm just going to continue layering the colors and going all over until I achieve the look that I want, but that I didn't plan. P.S. Excuse my squinting, I'm blind as shit and I didn't have my contacts on, but I was really trying to avoid having that little mirror that I used right in front of my face, so I'm very sorry. Now I'm just gonna repeat what I did to my face, to my neck and chest. I honestly have no idea why I just did the left side, but you're welcome to do both. Taking Candy O Love Glitters. I was gonna mix all three, but I ended up using just Club Kid. I'm gonna take NYX Glitter Glue and pat this under my eye, the lower part of my eye, and pack on the glitter on both sides. I was just gonna keep the glitter on the bottom part of my look, but later on I end up putting it on my lids as well. And I'm going to be doing the same thing to my neck, putting the glitter glue first and then throwing glitter everywhere. I'm going to take Dance Party Hydro Liner and put this on my lower lashes as if it were mascara. I'm pretty sure this is eye safe. I've done it a few times and I have yet to lose an eye. <laughs> For highlight, I'm going to use Kevin Aquan's Purse Magic Highlighting Trio and I'm going to use Enchanted from the palette. Oh my god, I can't even begin to explain how obsessed I am with these highlighters. They are so freaking blinding and beautiful. They look wet. I don't know. I just haven't been able to put it down ever since I got it. Ugh, so bomb. My camera eventually died and I couldn't record the lipstick or lashes part, but this is the final look. 
it's definitely festival appropriate parade club i don't know you name it i'm crazy i'll wear it anywhere this look does glow under black lights unfortunately my camera couldn't capture that so i inserted this small clip so that you can see what it looks like under my black lights Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this crazy look. There's more to come. Please don't forget to like and also don't forget to subscribe.